Hello everyone and welcome to this video tutorial of PrestaShop RMX Shipping module. In this video, I'll explain you the process to configure the module and I'll also show you that how using this module you can easily provide the shipping methods of RMX to your customers. So let's just go to the PrestaShop back office. As you can see that I have already installed this module in my PrestaShop. So let's just go to see the configuration settings of the module. This is the configuration page of the module. The configuration page consists of various options and various sections. So we'll deal with each option in, in each section one by one. The first option is sandbox mode. In case if you want to use this module in test mode, you can simply enable this option. After that, there is some options like email, password, account pin, account number and account entity. These are related to your RMX account. Here you can simply add all the details of your RMX account and uh, click on the save button to proceed. After that, there is another section where you need to uh, fill in the address for shipper details. Uh, these shipper details is basically used to calculate the rate and create the shipments that is RMX shipments. So here you can simply uh, add all the uh, basic details like name, email, company and the address and click on the save details then proceed. Then next is of rate calculator settings. Here the first option is of product default weight. Here you can simply add or enter the default weight of the products that you want to keep. Let's just say that if any product has not been uh, mentioned uh, according to its weight, like uh, say if any product was there which needs to be shipped but their weight is not mentioned. So what is would be the default weight that you want to give to that product so that the uh, product shipping charges can accordingly be calculated. So here you can add that. After that, next option is is PrestaShop shipping handling fee add in RMX shipping. In case if you enable this option, then the RMX shipping cost would also include the default PrestaShop shipping handling fees uh, that you add from the shop parameter section. The handling fees would be automatically added to the all the RMX shipping methods that are available to the customer address. Let's say if a customer has address of uh, say California and uh, there are five RMX shipping methods that are available to deliver the product so then the sh default shipping handling fees like if you say that uh, $2 has been added or $2 has been defined as default handling fee then in all those five shipping methods $2 would be automatically added and the price will accordingly show. Now next is shipment settings. Here first option is create automatic shipment when customer place order. In case if you enable this option then all the orders that are uh, uh, ordered via selecting uh, RMX shipping method, their shipment will be automatically created. But let's just set it to no for now because I will later on show you that how shipment can be created. Now next is product default weight. For the purpose of creating shipment, you just need to uh, enter the default weight of products. This works in the same manner that I explained above. Then description of goods. What kind of goods that you deal here you can simply enter the kind of goods that your uh, shop basically handles. Then next is additional service. Here there are various options whether uh, these are related to the RMX shipping methods. To know more about these shipping processes you can simply refer to their API documentation but uh, these are very basic options that you can simply understand by uh, looking at their sentences only because they are very straightforward that is whether you want to hold for pickup or not first delivery cash on delivery whatever then next is payment type 
whether you want all your uh, shipping uh, all your shipping uh, products that uh, you have shipped via rmx to be prepaid or you want the rmx to collect from the customers you can select that from here default custom amount what amount would you want the rmx to collect from the customers you can simply add that amount and the currency of that particular amount that in which currency you want the rmx to collect that amount then next are default pickup location comments and operation instruction these are very basic details that in case if you want then you can fill these are not necessarily to be filled but you can if you want after that click on the save details button and all these shipping methods of rmx would now show under the shipping section of your shop as you can see that those details were already saved by me so all the available aramex shipping method is now also available under the carrier section now let's just go to the prestashop front office where we will see that how a customer will get an option of choosing an aramex shipping method so here there are already two products in the cart so let's just proceed to go with the checkout and as you can see that all the available RMX shipping methods uh, that are available on the customer selected address is available here. We can simply select one of the shipping methods and uh, let's just proceed to order the product. After the successful ordering, you can see that the name of the shipping method is also shown on the order confirmation page. Now, let's just go to the order details page. On the order details page, you can see that this RMX shipping method is now being shown here as a carrier selected by the customer. Now, let's just go to the order section of the admin end where I will show you that how the options of create shipment and calculate rate are shown here as you can see that these two options under the rmx details are now added these are not available by default this is coming from the module itself so here you can choose to calculate the rate by clicking on this calculate rate button you can simply calculate the rate of the shipping uh, by considering the shipper address and the delivery address and on clicking the button you can see that the amount that would be required by the customer to pay by getting the delivery through the rmx is now shown here and you can choose to accordingly update your shipping details from here as well now there is another option too this is create shipment you can create shipment labels from here you can accordingly add all the details and these are all the basic details basically because you just need to add the shipper details receiver details and something about the shipment information that i already explained to you but let's just go through each of the option one by one here is the order product details you can choose to add some comments, pickup location and operation instruction to be followed by the RMX. Here is a shipment reference number that is automatically generated. What would be the service type? This is basically related to the RMX that uh, what kind of service you want to uh, choose for this particular order and how you want to deliver this product by choosing which service of the RMX. Then additional service and this was same as I already explained you in the configuration settings payment type you can also choose that from here as well if you want to choose that this particular payment should be collected from the customer then you can simply select it to collect description of goods that you can add what kind of goods that would be sent in this order in case if it's chosen to collect then what would be the COD amount that uh, RMX uh, needs to collect from the customer accordingly the currency of the amount custom amount you can also select from here 
now here you can also select that for currency of the customer custom amount and now click on the create segment button to create a, a shipping label uh, there is some problem i think uh, there some of the details were you can say that um, were not original like phone numbers and etc etc let's just add some details here now let's just try to create the segment again There is some seems to be some problem while creating shipment from the RMX end only. But um, after creating a shipment, I'll just show you how the shipping label uh, would be created. Let's just go to the user guide. And here as you can see, this is the shipment label that would be created after you click on the create shipment button. This you can simply print to paste it on the delivery uh, box that you are sending to your customer this would help RMX to use the details and accordingly uh, deliver the order on time so this was all about the PrestaShop RMX shipping module I hope this video helps you to configure and use the module in the best possible way thank you